What's up guys, I've got a special unboxing video for you today and by the look of it you probably know what it's going to be well the size of the box, the shape of it and it is the PS4 and there's probably about a billion other people who've done an unboxing of these but I thought um, why the hell not, I'll just do my own give you my thoughts um, so yeah open. Got this from Zavi.com for 393 pounds. That was uh, free shipping as well. Oh, there. I opened it the wrong way around. Oh, damn it. Box isn't very too heavy. Um, very compact. I got the Killzone Shadowfall um, bundle. Just the standard Shadow 4 bundle. Um, I kind of pre ordered late, so I missed out on um, some of the other bundles they have there. Uh, specifically, the game, game.co.uk, they was doing some um, great bundles. Um, but, I mean, I pre ordered this like uh, about just over a month ago, so I was very late into actually pre ordering. Um, this and there was a speculation that like people weren't gonna get it on launch day it was gonna most likely get it what was it for Christmas but luckily um, Zavi was good enough to send out all those who pre-ordered at least a month before beforehand um, to get it on launch so I mean Zavi didn't really have many great deals be honest compared to some other places um, Amazon I checked Amazon as well they had similar stuff going um, I did want to get a second controller but uh, they the red one I think what was it called the magma red uh, was out of stock on GameStop website and they were selling the controllers for like 39 pounds I think or something like that which is pretty cheap compared to most other places that are selling it for like 54 54.99 um, why am I doing this anyway right, let's open the box I'm just kind of blabbering on and I'm going to try to do this with one hand let's tip it upside down and do it um, so I'm not sure how we get PlayStation Plus with it trial but I'm not sure if it's the same as the US because I've heard that the US get uh, oops you just get like a month, a whole month off. Well, I think we EUers, we only get 14 days, which is a bummer. There it is, okay. And box in, another box. I can smell it already. Voila. Here it is. Wrapped in all its glory. And very simple, um, very simple way of storing it. No fuss. Just get it straight out. It's not like the uh, the Xbox 360 box, um, where it's all complicated and you know once you take it out, it's, it's basically impossible. I'm talking about the uh, that Xbox, uh, the original Xbox, not the slim. Uh, you had to unbox it and. This is so much shit that just messes it up. But when you try to put it back, it just doesn't happen because nothing fits for some odd reason. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, I've already got a fingerprint on the. Uh, well, you can't even see it. Yeah, you can. There. On the glossy side of it. It's pretty neat. I've oh, got a fingerprint on, the, on that side. Very shiny. Well, the glossy bit, anyway. Now, this is the back. I can't really see it because the lighting's not very really good in here. It's hopefully going to fit perfectly right there where that speaker is. My uh, center speaker for my surround. Um, right underneath or right above my TV box. My Virgin TV box. Pretty much don't have any space at all to put that. I need to make some room. I mean, what have we got here? We've got the original. PlayStation, 
the Wii, the PS3, Dreamcast over there, Xbox, PVR, um, TV box, which is probably the same size as the Xbox One. Maybe a, not as um, tall, but yeah. I mean, if I ever do get an Xbox One, God knows where I'm gonna put that. I might have to get rid of something. Um, okay, so what have we got in the box? Nothing much really. Here's the game Shadow 4, which had uh, mixed reviews of this game. Some people say it's good, some people say um, they didn't enjoy it. I'm not too sure why. Um, I think, while well, the most the US or North America, they when they first played it, the I think the network wasn't working or something. I don't know. So they couldn't play on multiplayer. Um, so what is it? This is only one player. Obviously, you can go online, but no campaign co-op, which sucks because the old kill zone. I remember they had that. The controller. Which feels heavier than the PS3 controller. Do a quick comparison, you've probably seen those of these before. Oh, I've never touched a uh, PS4 controller, so this is my actual first experience feeling it, and I like the kind of already the textured back of it. But you can't see it, but it's kind of like a gritty feel to it, like a texture um, for better grip because this one didn't even have that. And when you get sweaty palms, is uh, well easily you slip off and leaves marks and stuff. These controllers get dirty pretty quick. Um, okay, what else we got in there? Light bar, obviously. Mini USB. Let's try to focus this. Um, this touchpad, which I hope they implement this um, much more in the future. I'm not too sure how many games use this. I know Killzone uses this. Um, I don't know if Mac uses this. Um, but similar to the PS Vita, where you got the um, touchpad at the back, it didn't really support it that well so I'm hoping that you know with the new PS4 games they start to use this. So I didn't even know you can you can even click it in. Yeah it clicks in. I didn't even know that. Um, what is this? The options um, share button You've got a microphone PlayStation home or yeah dashboard that's where your headset goes and D-pad as well feels a lot better. Feels more um feel more closer, all the actual buttons on the D-pad a little bit bigger. Um they feel more precise. I don't know I don't think you can no you can't change the back to replace the battery. I've had like Battery power doesn't last as long as um, the PS3 controller. Maybe because of you know how much stuff going on with the light bar, with it, um, yeah, connected with the light bar. Obviously, and that needs more power. Um, the improved six-axis and the touchpad, speakers well. also. Obviously, this controller is going to take much more power than the original. Not too sure how, um, what kind of battery to use and um, how many. Oh, right, it says here 800 mA, which is not a great deal compared to these ones, I think. Oh no, this one's less. This one's 300 mA. Um, yeah, which is a shame because you can't change the battery. Well, maybe you can. Maybe you can just pop it open and buy a new battery, I don't know. Okay, what else we got? Quick stop manual. Don't really want to be looking at that. And power cable. Which 
Oh no, this is the HDMI. Power cable. Thank God we don't need to have a power brick. Because like back there is so many wires and uh, too much to deal with. Uh, what is this? Oh, the USB charging kit, which doesn't seem very long. That's a shame. And the headset, that the not headset, the earphones and mic that they supply, which seems very standard. But at least they supply one. And I don't think, yeah, the PS3 they never supplied um, headsets or anything like that. So this is just a bonus, I guess. And that's it. I mean, apparently I've heard that the US, North America, they get the um, what is it? The webcam stand, which on the European version we don't get that. It sucks. Get out. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's in here. No. God, I'm making a mess here. Alright, let's open Killzone quickly. Killzone Mercenary, what's this? Oh, that's for the Vita. And it looks like we have PlayStation Plus. Um, membership, what is this? No? No code? No nothing. That sucks, so right off the bat, there's no PlayStation trial. Hmm. There's the game. Okay, so, yeah, no manual, no nothing. Just an advertisement. And, what is this, season pass? Okay to pay for that season pass is $15.99 or $19.99 euros where the hell is my PlayStation Plus trial oh well never mind looks like I have to buy it um, that's it that is it so I'm gonna set this bad boy up so there you have it guys there's my unboxing of uh, the PS4 I really like the artwork on the actual box um, because of the kill zone. It's pretty neat. Um, just like I said, I need to find a place to put it. Most likely put it here, if anything. Um, yeah, super hyped about this console and checking out the new interface and everything and all the upcoming games. Um, I've only got kill zone at the moment, but I'll be soon. Well, I'll be. Soon getting some more, hopefully, but they do cost quite quite a lot. There's nothing really that interests me at the moment. Maybe Battlefield 4 or um, Assassin's Creed. But apart from that, at the moment, there's nothing that I really need to get for definite. I mean, like those two games are multi plats anyway, and I can play that on my PC or well, Battlefield 4 again or whatever. But yeah, I did see they had Warframe on. The PS4 which is free so it's a game that I plan to play on my PC but never got around to it so hope that I'm gonna be able to play that on this and also uh, stream I'm gonna check out the streaming function on Twitch and I don't have the uh, is it PS4 camera or whatever but um, in the future I'll get it so if I do ever stream on Twitch, um, I have the camera as well, so yeah, that's my uh, unboxing, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon.